Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Coffee House Concert Series. And we've won an award since the last show. Uh, this has been awarded the best local TV show, uh, music related, at the Local Music Awards, the WMRC Local Music Awards. Yes, thank you. How about that? Um, so thank you, everyone who voted. Congratulations to Rob and his crew at Milford TV for picking up that award. Um, yes, RJ and uh, Justin are here. They're on Rob's crew. They're out for most of these shows. I want to thank those guys and Rob, who comes down um, every month to uh, record this show. So what you're about to see is three local musicians performing their own original music. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. They're going to be telling you stories about themselves and the songs. Uh, before we start, I also want to thank Lou Miano, ladies and gentlemen, from Zero Drift, who is uh, helping out on sound. I want to thank the Milford Performing Arts Center, of course, who uh, is providing us the, uh, uh, the venue to tape tonight. And I think that's about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's performances are going to be done by uh, Average Joel. We have Average Joel in the house tonight. We have Hannah Khan, ladies and gentlemen. And Jeff Thomas, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. So I believe this is our seventh coffee house. We're very excited about it. Are you guys ready for a great show? We're going to kick it off. Yes, let's hear it. I always enjoy watching Joel perform. Joel and I have met before, and um, the first time we ever met was several months back, and it was a really deserted venue. I think there were probably seven of us there, and it was a really weird coincidence because Joel and I actually share the same last name and we're often asked if we're related, which we're not. And the venue owner also has the same last name. So out of the maybe seven people in this venue, the three of us all shared the same name. It was one of the strangest experiences and really weird coincidence. My name is Hannah Khan, and for the first song that I'm going to sing tonight, I'm going to do an original song, and uh, this is called Tomorrow. And a few years back, I moved to New York City, and I moved there by myself, and it was kind of horrible. <laughs> I miss it a lot, strangely enough, even though it was one of the worst experiences of my life. Um, I'm definitely a city person, but when I lived there, I was living paycheck to paycheck as a struggling artist, uh, not as a musician, but actually as a model. And it was really hard to make any money. It was really hard living on my own and having no friends and no family there. And I was so depressed and I got to the point where I was really struggling with mental illness and an eating disorder that I ended up writing a mental illness blog about that I still continue to write today. And I decided to write this song tomorrow about moving forward into the next day and being hopeful and how there's always tomorrow and tomorrow is always a better day. So I hope that this can bring hope to somebody else who hears it. i 
Hello, my name is Jeff Thomas, and the um, first song is a country or song, and a country music sounds better if you clap your hands, so don't be afraid to clap your hands. <clears throat> this is a, a, raise your hand if you ever had a broken heart. I can barely see, but raise your hand if you had a broken heart. I, I, was, I was worried for a second. <laughs> and raise both hands if you got over it and felt great, because that's what this song is all about. Yeah. Everybody clap your hands. Tip the tat. I'm not that. I don't need to see you cry. So, my dear, I won't cheer when you crash by and by. And I forgive you for breaking my heart. Forgive you for breaking my heart, but not for stopping all the pieces. In the long run, you're not so smart. I've got a brand new start. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I don't care. my heart not for stomping all the pieces in the long run you're not so smart and I've got a brand new start yes I forgive you for breaking my heart not for stomping all the pieces in the long run you're not so smart I've got a brand new start Thank you. Thank you. All right, man. I once got mugged for a half a Pop-Tart in New York City. <laughs> this is true. Um, I used to have to go back and forth to New York a lot. I do meet a lot. Um, and I don't know if anyone, does anyone like frosted brown sugar cinnamon Pop-Tarts? They're lovely. They're delightful. If you haven't tried them, I highly recommend them. I owe my girlish figure to them. So uh, at one point, I'm, I'm waiting in the lower level of Grand Central Station for my train to come in. And uh, it's, it's really early in the morning, and I'm waiting for the train. And I've got my, on my knapsack, I pull my tinfoil package of two frosted brown sugar cinnamon Pop-Tarts. So I take one out, put the other one back in my knapsack, and I'm sitting there happily eating my Pop-Tart. All of a sudden, big guy comes up to me. Big. Green jacket. Gets right in my face, screams top of his lungs, Give me your Pop-Tart! I am censoring him as well. <laughs> and so I looked up and I said, uh, okay. And he takes it and says, thanks, man. Starts walking, at which point two of New York's finest come tearing down the stairs. This big officer runs right after him, and this female officer runs right after him. Sir, sir, are you okay, sir? And I said, yeah, I still got one left. <laughs> and that story has absolutely nothing to do with this next song. I just like telling it. <laughs> I, I wrote this next song really... Uh, for anyone like me that, that drives around to work stuff out in your head, this life goes on. By the way, this is also sweating to the oldies, in case you're wondering. I can't get served in restaurants this way. It's crazy.
planned on doing a bit of a sadder song for my second song, but then Jeff did this kind of kick-ass positive message song for his first song, and Joel told a hilarious story, so I'm kind of feeling like I don't want to do that. Well, don't so worry, that sad song's coming, don't worry, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> so I'll do that for my third song. <laughs> I'll do a love song now, because that's feeling more appropriate with all the happiness. That's a great If you want, story. I can do my cancer song next. It's, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I was, like, cracking up. I was like, oh, God. We <laughs> were my talking about Pop Darts, and I was like, oh, my God. This is, um, this is a love song of mine. This is called Play Box in the Sand. <laughs> song or a sad song. <laughs> Let me see. I'll play a brand new one. <clears throat> this is a song that I wrote with my bandmate, uh, Alexandria Bianco. We play in a, a band called uh, Funk For Now. And uh, this is a song about, about feeling trapped in the moment, trapped in the now. Um, I, uh, I spend a lot of time with, um, with people in nursing homes. 
that's my, my day job is I play guitar at dozens and dozens of nursing homes and, and uh, I, I talk to a lot of the people, especially the veterans. I'm a bit of a World War II uh, history buff and I talk to a lot of the veterans and get incredible stories from them and their insights and, um, and sometimes I, I was talking to a, a fellow the other day and he was a, a bomber pilot and he was in his mid-90s now and he was telling me about uh, and I know some of the history so I'll, I'll mention specific things, specific officers or battles and then when they realize that I know about it and respect them for it that they'll light up and they'll start telling me all these stories and I was just looking at him and thinking my god this guy is talking about these uh, things that movies are made of now. He was a hero. He was, you know, at, at the controls of this giant plane and all these things that are part of history now were happening to him in real time. He remembers it the way I remember my 16th birthday party. And, uh, and now he's tiny and sitting in a chair and a lot more time behind him than in front of him. And um, I hope it's not insulting for me to have written this song about a point of view that I don't have yet. But anyway, this poetic license. The song is called Trapped. <laughs> song or a sad song, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. In between, I guess? You know, oh like, a, like a lot of, uh, when I play in the nursing homes, there's a lot of classic songs you play, and oftentimes the words are very sad, but the music is very happy, yeah. you know? You Are My Sunshine, for example, you know, if you go into the lyrics. True. Well, I, I, I tell you what, th this, this is going to be playing on Milford TV for the month of June and the beginning of July, right? Yes? All right, then you know what we're going to do? We're going to do the patriotic portion of this program. So uh, I wrote this one actually around election time. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, at least we get to live in a country where we get to choose who's going to absolutely mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> that said, uh, for any uh, veterans or servicemen or reservists, this one's for you. This is all But we'll still reach for the stars. I think it wrong. Not Americans are dumb. This is our America. This is our home. Most of you was home. No one else.
about playing my sadder song this time around because it's not it's not entirely sad it's it's kind of happier melody sadder words so it fits that general theme um, I mentioned before my first song that I write a mental illness blog and um, this song kind of resonates a lot to that I guess um, I'm someone who's very open about my personal life and that I very openly struggle with mental illness and with an eating disorder and have been through a lot of trauma and abuse in my life. And I, in August, got out of the most abusive relationship that I've ever been in. And since <coughs> then, I have been really adamant about like, speaking out against domestic violence and any sort of abuse and just like really raising awareness. Um, and this song is about how when you're not in that situation, it can be really hard to look at someone who's in that situation and understand, well, why don't you just walk away? And when you're in that situation, you can really still love the person that you're with. So this is how I felt when I was still with that person. And I loved them, but this was when I was ready to walk away. This is called I'll Miss You.
There's a long tradition in, uh, in rock and roll of um, um, singing to your kids, whether it's Chuck Berry and what's that song? Long distance information, give me. Singing to a little girl, right? Led Zeppelin did it. Robert Plant was singing to his, to his son, Harry Chapin, you know. So I'd like to add a, a, a song to that tradition, especially since it's almost Father's Day. What day is Father's Day? I should know. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday this Sunday? Right. Actually, it's not my job to know, right? It's my job to get surprised with a tie or something. All right, so this song is for my daughter, Kazue. If I can remember the rhythm. I never was the kind to say no when you needed a hug or a story at night. Where did the time go from toddler to teen while I try to make things right? I could not live with your mom, but I refuse to live without you. I stood up and popped the law. Now people say this to me You can't make a be Where she don't want to be And I don't know what to do I'm scared I'll lose you See you in a couple weeks or so You're doing fine with mama But I thought you'd like to know That I miss you times we had love uncle dad I don't want to fade away why should I have to say see you in a couple weeks or so you're doing fine with mama but I thought you'd like to know that I miss you and the good times we times we had love uncle dad thank you very nice for, for songwriters and musicians by the way the last three chords of the song are d-a-d -D. just thought i'd you know let you know <laughs> well since the fire truck's going by we were you know i'm not dying you don't have to call an ambulance for me or anything um Okay, the joke stunk. I tried. What do you want? Uh, <laughs> this is the third round, so this is the fourth, the final round. So this is the traditional part of the show where we plug ourselves. So keeping up in that fine tradition, plug. Um, you can find me on Facebook as Average Joel. There are, in fact, two Average Joels. There's me, and there's a bowling league. I'm the one with the guitar. So please find me. That'd, that'd be really cool. Of course, find Hana Khan and find Jeff. And uh, check us out. Uh, you can find out where we're all playing next, etc. Um, I would like to leave you with hope. 
I, I wrote this. This next song is, by the way, if you really like my stuff, you can find I've got an album out right now called Plan B because bottom line, nothing ever goes quite right. So Plan B, Average Shoal, Plan B, find it up. Uh, find it all your favorite online retailers. This song, though, is actually off of my next album that's about to come out called Apple Pie. Uh, this song is uh, The Better Angels of Our Nature. I, I actually uh, was listening to uh, President Lincoln's inaugural address, and uh, I have a uh, bit with Jeff Garner reading it. And uh, he says the words, The Better Angels of Our Nature, and he was hopeful that war, civil war could be averted. I just really love those, those words, so I, I took it and uh, wrote this song. United in hope, united in faith, united in love. talking about our links and stuff. Um, my links can be found, I guess, on um, Facebook, Hanacon Official, and my website is Um I also have two singles on iTunes and on Spotify, um, On the Clouds and Shore, which I did not play today, but are available on those two, which is like a really new thing for me, so it's incredibly exciting and wonderful. Um, they were self-produced and self-engineered and everything, so it's just like an incredible, exciting experience. So that's my stuff. Um, for my last song, this is my version of a I got dumped and now I'm better off, so haha -ha song. <laughs> and this is called Girl Like Me. Taking me, you say you haven't been. 
Um, thank you very much, everybody, for making this happen. People from Milford TV, thank you, Ray, thank you, Lou. And uh, let me see. Comedy song or serious song? Comedy. Up to you. I, I have no input. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you can laugh at this one, okay? However, however it turns out, you can laugh at it. So. <laughs>
so much. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for our performers tonight. Average Joel, ladies and gentlemen. Hana Khan, ladies and gentlemen. Jeff Thomas, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. Thank you, guys. That was incredible. Everyone gets better and better. Where do you want me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's talk to uh, Joel about your foot drum here. What is this? Is this something common? I've never seen this used before. You are kind of a, uh, I was going to say an odd figure, but that's not what I meant. You have an odd figure is what I, no, I, that's not even what I, I meant. I owe it to Pop-Tarts. Sorry. Um, no, no, tell me about the drum. Uh, it's a foot drum kit. Um, it's foot drum kit. You, you, they're, they're not common, but <laughs> yeah, you can we find them. Yeah, see a lot of them around you, here. You can, you can find them. Uh, I got a 10-inch snare. I got a set of hi-hats in there. I got a set of egg shakers, a, a, a tambourine stick, and a 18-inch kick. What made you want to incorporate this in your act? Um, I saw one online and loved it and bought it. <laughs> How long did it take you to master everything? I mean, you have rhythm anyway. A musician has rhythm, but was this difficult? I don't think I've mastered it. <laughs> I don't Still know if learning. I'm that smart. <laughs> um, that said, no, I've been playing with it since I got it. I got it in August, and it's just been a lot of fun. I do call it sweating of the oldies because this is a good workout. <laughs> and, but since I started playing it, I can't get served in bars no more. No. I'm barefoot. It's yeah. a joke. You I always try. barefoot when you do it? Always yeah, barefoot? Yeah, I, I need to feel the clutch. Ah, I see. Okay. Joel, thank you very much. Well, Average you. Joel, one more time, ladies and gentlemen, please. Hannah, thank you very much. Incredible, uh, heartwarming, really deep stuff. Thank that's you. that's amazing. Do you really do you always draw on your own personal experiences when writing music? Yes. You yeah. do. Okay. Um, what do we have coming up? Anything we can look for? You said you have two singles online right now. I do. Yes, I'm working on a third. Um, the eventual goal is to come out with a CD, but I tend to self-produce my own music, so yep. it just kind of comes whenever I have the time for it. Um, I perform all the time. This is what I do for a living. So my music is everywhere all the time. Everywhere. <laughs> In the universe. Yeah. It's everywhere. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. Hannah Khan, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Jeff, incredible stuff. Oh, you need the mic. Tell me about uh, the band. Well, my band is Funk for Now. It's a four-piece band. We're based uh, in Worcester area. Um, and we're playing, our next show is in Natick. At, there's a store called Music Around. It's a music store, and they're having a summer concert series every Sunday afternoon. And we're going to be playing um, uh, Sunday, uh, July 6th at 1 o'clock on Route 9. Outdoor concert. We'll be good and loud, so just drive by and you'll find us. <laughs> and uh, other, uh, we have a, um, a Facebook page, Funk for Now. It's Funk, F-U-N-K, for now. And that's our, um, our Facebook page. You can find us in there and find out what we're playing. But the next thing we have coming up is this outdoor show. So please come on down to that. Now, thank you very much to Rob from Milford TV and Justin and uh, RJ, who come out to every show. <laughs> Happy graduation, RJ. RJ is a uh, high school graduate now, so let's hear it for RJ making his way out to the real world now. Good luck, sir. Um, thank you very much to Lou Miano, ladies and gentlemen, from Zero Drift doing our sound tonight. Yes. Appreciate it, Lou. Um, I saw Tim Rice in the, uh, in the studio audience, so Tim Rice is here tonight from Tim Rice Photo. Uh, we'll see some great pictures on our Facebook page and on his page as well, so find him, Tim Rice Photo. Thank you very much, Tim. I give it up for uh, Tim Rice. Tim won an award at the LMAs as well for um, Best Local Music Supporter, so that was uh, very exciting. Um, and that's it. Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks to WMRC. Thank you very much to the Milford Performing Arts Center for allowing us to come in every month and do this. And I think I thanked everyone. Did I get everyone? All right. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. We appreciate you guys. I'm Ray Ozier. Till next month. Have a good one. <laughs>